Blessed day to each and everyone, especially to my teacher as well as my classmates. Blessed day to each and everyone of you. Today's young channel will talk about fermentation. Without further ado, let's get started. When we talk about fermentation, fermentation is typically defined as breakdown of organic substances into simple components, mainly by the action of enzymes aided by microorganisms. This process is known as enzymatic degradation and enzymatic hydrolysis. Hence, this method of preservation has something to do with the sulfate method, but some products undergo fermentation with little amount of salt added. Classification of fermented products First, bagoong or paste This is made from old fish, fish roll, shrimp, or shellfish with salt The product is fermented for periods varying from a few weeks to more than a year The characteristics of good quality of fish paste or bagoong are as follows First, slightly fishy and cheesy odor Second, fish is either partially or completely disintegrated. Third, pasty and not watery consistency. Fourth, ash to reddish in color. Fifth, free from foreign materials, sand, and etc. Sixth, pleasing taste, not biting, and bitter, not sour, not even very salty. Second, sauce patties. Fish sauce is known as Nogmang in Cambodia and Vietnam, Nambua in Thailand and Laos, Mekabekan in Indonesia, Ngepe in Burma, and Patis in the Philippines. Patis is used mainly as condiment in food preparation. This results from the slow fermentation or salted fish and the subsequent separation of the solid from the liquid portion of the hydrolysate. In short, patis or fish sauce is produced by hydrolysis. The flavor of fish sauce may be due to the activity of hydrophilic bacteria such as caninoforms, streptococcus, microcorcus, staphylococcus, and bacillus species. The flavor rises typically from amino acids such as glutamic acid, alanine, lysine, aspartic acid, leucine, valine, or peptides. Organic acids such as lactic, acetic, and succinic acids are responsible for typical fish sauce flavor but don't contribute to the taste. In addition, these acids exist in salted forms at the pH of the fish sources between 5.3 to 6.7 in antithesis the pH of soy sauce is between 4.7 to 4.9 that organic acids impart a slight soreness. Fermented products with added carbohydrates such as cooked rice or burro in Filipino this is burro this is made of fish or shrimp with salt and rice added. Well, cold worm is the if fish is added. We'll call burong balaw balaw or burong ipon if shrimps are added. These products are used as a sauce for broiled or stream fish as well as vegetables. Here, rice and other source of carbohydrates may or may not be mixed with angkat or angka, a culture of molluscus perfurus, which enhances fermentation. Methods of hastening fermentation or methods of fastening fermentation. What are the methods to fasten the fermentation process? Here we go. The fermentation of aquatic products usually takes 6 to 12 months. However, methods to shorten the process have already been tried. Some of these processes have already been practiced in the industry, most probably aquaculture industry. 
physical need, elevated temperature, agitation, and grinding. The use of temperature between 37 degrees Celsius and 42 degrees Celsius during fermentation speeds up the rate of hydrolysis of fish flesh. Agitation of the salt fish mixture by stirring it regularly with the wood bottle or other non corrosive instruments hastens the fermentation process. For fish paste bagel and fish sauce patties, the raw materials can be ground to hasten fermentation process. Grinding increases the surface area of the flesh so that the natural enzymes in fish can easily act on them. Next, application of enzymes. The following enzymes are responsible for hastening the hypothesis of fish flesh. We have proteases from plants, proteases from animals, proteolytic bacteria, proteolytic molds. Additionally, Fish sauce which has not been treated can be added to the fish because the salt mixture could speed up the fermentation process. Also, natural enzymes such as trypsin and catepsin are active in prepared fish sauce but is otherwise. Next, use of acid. Fish sauce can be produced by acid hydrolysis in the fish protein. Acids such as hydrochloric and acetic acids, it speeds up the fermentation process when added to a fish with salt mixture. Nevertheless, the fermented product must be neutralized before the completion of the fermentation process. Here we go! General procedure for bagel and patties. This is the most interesting part of this topic. Raw material, fresh small fish, small shrimps, oyster and mussel meats are suitable as raw material. Mixing with salt, the ratio of fish to salt will vary from 3 is to 1 to 5 is to 1 or depending on the size of the raw materials and the type of salt used. Fermentation, the fish with salt mixture is allowed to ferment for more than a month. The process usually takes 6 months to 12 months or even longer to complete. However, the fermentation time is shortened when the mixture is exposed under the sun for 4 weeks with regular agitation, meaning to say we have to stay it regularly. It allowed to develop the flavor and aroma for 6 to 8 weeks. In addition, suitable containers are plastic puppets, concrete tongs, or other non-toxic containers. Packaging The bagel can be strained to separate the bones from the fish, then packed in plastic or glass bottles. The patties is strained and filtered. Permitted coloring may be added to dilute fish sauce and to simulate the original color. Next, manufactured products. We have fermented fish with cooked rice. Where is that? This product was really used as a condiment, but many people consider it as an important component of their diet nowadays. Burrista has two forms, including a white burrista and red burrista. White burrista has the natural product color and it is popular in Western provinces, while red borista is colored by adding anka or anka and it is popular in Eastern provinces of Luzon. On the other hand, the fermentation process of borista is initiated by Streptococcus, which persists up to the latter part of the process. Pediococcus appear next but consists only of a small percentage of the microflora. Both Leoconostoc and Leptobacillus come on the third day and are generally present up to the end of the fermentation process. Leoconostoc is the predominating microflora in the final days of fermentation. 
also nine strains of lactic acid bacteria that hydrolyze discharge were isolated from world mammals. Materials and equipment, milkfish or carp or mudfish, bottles, cooked rice, soap, mixing bowl, procedure. First, the scale is put the fish into butterfly fillet, remove gills and fins, wash thoroughly and drain. Second, pack and bottles alternately with a mixture of cooked rice, preferably five cups, and so preferably a tablespoon. Use 400 gram clean fish for every three and three fourth cups cooked rice mixture. Third, allow to ferment for seven days at room temperature. Last, saute in cooking oil garlic and onions before serving. This is the most anticipated part of this topic. <laughs> we have fermented shrimp with cooked rice, burung ipon. Burung ipon is known as balao balao or burung ipon or tagbilao in central Luzon. Any small size shrimps can be used as raw material but the most popular species are the Gutu, Palaemon speed, and Swahe, Metapenus, and Seas. On the other hand, rice used in the fermentation of this product is not mixed with Anka because Balao Balao acquires the red color when the proper state of ripening or fermentation is attained. We have materials and equipment. Small shrimp, salt, polyethylene, oil, cooked rice, bottles. Procedure First, cut the antennae, afterwards, wash and drain. Second, mix the shrimps with salt equal to 20% of their weight. Let it stand for 2 hours and drain. Third, Cook enough rice, cool and mix with the pre-salted shrimp. The ratio of grain shrimps to rice is 1 is to 4.8 by weight. Fourth, add 3% by weight coarse salt to the total shrimp rice mixture. Fifth, blend thoroughly, pack in glass bottles and cover properly with potholy. Sixth, allow to ferment at room temperature for 7 days. And last, Saute and cooking oil, curly and oil, and before a serving. I'm getting started. Spoilage and deterioration. The spoilage of fermented product is almost similar to salted products. Spoilage due to bacteria is brought about when spoilage fish and not enough salt are used for fermentation process. Growth of molds occurs when impure salt is used. These are the research notes. Terrain. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for your time. I hope that you understand everything that are indicated in this video. Queries, you can contact me 24 7. Thank you so much once again. To my teacher, thank you so much. Classmates, thank you so much. Once again, a blessed day to each and every one.